Hi, welcome to the Nico Dad, and hello to all my new subscribers. Today we're going to do something a bit different. I'm going to show you how to make a workbench. Here you join me outside. Let's have a look at the materials. We're going to use 12 mil ply for the board, 2x2 two two and 2x1 two for making up the frame. Some of the tools we're going to use, drill with a bit for drilling pilot holes, electric screwdriver, some clamps, screws. We're going to use 40 mil screws and 25 mil screws. Very important, don't forget your safety equipment, especially when you're using power tools. All right, I have it all marked out ready for the first cut. So I'm going to make it three foot deep by four foot wide. It's going to be the base of our workbench. So don't forget to put your safety equipment on. Here we have the piece of ply cut out for our bench. Uh, basically now I'm just going to make it up as if it was a small baseboard. So it's going to have two by one around the edge with a couple of cross members to support it going through the middle. So I'll carry on and do that and come back to you in a minute. Okay, there's the uh, bench made up, the surface of it anyway. So the buttons, two by one, all around the outside and at 16 inch centers. The plywood is attached to the buttons with 25 mil screws and the framework buttons are screwed together with 40 mil screws. Always remember to drill some pilot holes, it stops the wood splitting. So now it's time to make the legs. I'm going to use these adjustable feet on the legs so I can adjust the height. I'm going to make the legs uh, 36 foot so I can sit at it with a high stool and also able to stand and work at it if need be. There's the legs on the table. I've put an extra one at the back for extra support. Now it's time to put some bracing across here and along the back just to make it more sturdy. I've run the 2x1 battens around the base of the legs. That makes it a lot secure. I've secured it at the top also with 50 mil screws on the other side and one through the top. That makes it quite a sturdy table. I'm now going to proceed and put a shelf across here, about one foot width. So I'll do that now. Here's the piece of 12 mil ply cut out for the shelf. So I need to make some cuts on this to bring it back so the battens support it. So I'm just going to mark there with my pencil and do that on all three of the legs. And then I can make a cut back the distance of this leg and this batten here, and then it'll fit in there and rest. And then I run another batten to support the front of it, and that'll be the shelf done. There's the shelf in. The battens are screwed together using 40 mil screws, and then the 12 mil ply shelf is screwed to the battens using 25 mil screws. So I want to do the same again up here, create another shelf about a foot off the top of the workbench. Again, it's going to be a foot wide using 12 mil ply. I'll make the framework of two by one buttons again. Here's the bench complete. It's a bit rough and ready, but it's functional. Got a shelf up there for storing stuff, a nice big work area for working on models, attached a power supply for soldering irons, cutting discs, that sort of thing. And that gives me a fully functional bench now to use in my shed for working on. Hope you find that useful. That's me for now. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.